Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video from my home office in Jerusalem. I usually uh, don't mention these things for my non-tech videos. I do post a real mixture of videos on this YouTube channel. Some of them are about camcorder stuff. Some of them are about audio stuff. Then I've got stuff about living in Israel. So usually I keep the technical notes in a section of the video. I'm just going to make an exception quick one for this video because I'm doing something slightly different with the audio. I'm using my uh, Shure PJ48 uh, XLR microphone, which I've mostly used to date for my camcorder in the field work. And I'm recording it directly into my uh, computer, into OBS Studio, using the Behringer uh, Euphoria UM2 audio interface. So there you go. If it sounds any different or better than the usual little lav mic I wear, uh, let me know in the comments. What I want to talk about the actual subject matter of today's video is going to be the work week in Israel. Do Israelis truly work on a Sunday? The answer is sadly yes. Uh, recording this video on a Saturday night in Israel. And that's what is known uh, as motzash. Motzash is a uh, conjunction. There's a word that I'm forgetting for when you put two words together, a, a portmanteau maybe. Anyway, it's a con it's a it's a it's two words mushed into one: motze and Shabbat. And it means when Shabbat goes out. So sh this was one of the latest uh, Shabbatot. Uh, which is a plural of uh, Shabbats. This is one of the later latest Shabbats in the year. It finished at uh, 2027, 27 minutes past eight. And uh, as we get to the solstice on the 21st, we're going to get the latest Shabbat in the year at 2031. So this is the end. So the way the Jewish, and there's a reason I'm including this in a video about uh, this religious concept in a video about working hours. And that's be that's kind of the reason why Israel's on this unusual work week. In Judaism, the day is considered to start at uh, when three stars come out after sundown really and the week if you think about it um, that concept the week the Jewish week is a six-day week that ends in Shabbat the day of rest Shabbat ends at Motzei Shabbat which is when uh, Saturday uh, you know sometime between here in Israel as as I said it's about as late as it gets now at 8 30 and in the winter a lot earlier and then we're into the next week so actually the start of the week is Motzei Shabbat. So the week starts on Saturday night and uh, the day starts on uh, in, in the evening. It's a bit of a weird concept to wrap your head around. But that explains really a lot to do with Israel's working week. So the working week in Israel is Sunday to Thursday. And that's, you know, something I've been working with uh, clients from around the world for a number of years. I mentioned that a few times uh, about my uh, freelancing business. And you know, people will, there's a lot of, often a lot of small talk uh, about where are you based? And I'm, you know, I'm in Israel and how did you get to Israel? Um, but you know, then when we get to the brass tacks about working with Israel, I tell people two things about the country. Firstly is our time zone. We're on GMT plus two. It's so around the same time zone as Eastern Europe. So if you're an, if you're a European company, based in let's say Britain or Central Europe it can be a two or one hour very workable time zone difference the hardest one is west coast US it's a big time difference and it's very hard for people who work with uh, the west coast companies um, and then I tell people by the way FYI Israel's on a Sunday to Thursday work week so I typically don't work on Fridays but I do work on Sunday so uh, there is a fact about life in Israel. So that's the second little tidbit that I wanted to drop in. So let me show you guys actually some info before you say it's totally wacky. Firstly, how long do Israelis work? So I got this data up from Wikipedia, their working time uh, graphic they have here. And according to their uh, figures from an OECD ranking for 2019, Israel actually wound up in seventh place working an average of 1,898 hours per year per worker with Mexico uh, actually coming in number one place. Now that wasn't actually the, the, the main thing I wanted to show. This was the main thing that I wanted to show and I'm going to just move myself out of the way. This is a graph here showing world map showing the days of the week by country. And you can see Monday to Friday is shaded in this uh, this kind of uh, green tint. Monday to Saturday, which is an interesting permutation, is India um, and a couple of countries here in the Americas. And then we have Sunday to Thursday. And so again, when I tell people it's actually not just Israel, there are even some people in Israel who think it's just Israel that works Sunday to Thursday. And it's not, it's actually quite a common thing in the Middle East and the Muslim world. So if I zoom in, zoom in a little bit, 
uh, you can see which of those countries are on Sunday to Thursday. So Israel is a tiny, tiny speck in the geographical area right here. And you can see Egypt um, and uh, Libya and Algeria and Sudan and Saudi, Ara Saudi and Yemen and Oman and Iraq and uh, Syrian, our, our, our Republic, AKA Syria, most people call it. And what do we have here? I'm, I'm belaying how bad my ge my geographical knowledge has become recently and this is afghanistan so there you go so it's not just israel that works this week and this works this weird permutation now why do these countries in the middle east work sunday to thursday well it's got to do with their dominant religion which is uh islam and don't forget that israel actually has a very sizable arabic population as well so israel's kind of in this weird position that it has to strike the best balance for Jews, Muslims, and also kind of to a lesser extent Christians. So these uh, Muslim majority countries are working on Sunday to Thursday as well because in Islam, Yom al Jumu'ah, which is Friday, is the uh, kind of traditional concept of a day off. And I'm not going to say too much about it because I hate when people who are not that that religion try to explain that religion. The little bit I understand about Yom al Jumu'ah is that it's the it's a day of rest, it's a day of uh, reverence, it's a day of going to the mosque. So it's kind of analogous to the Jewish Shabbat. So if you're working in one of these countries, it makes sense that you'd have Friday off. So you'd work Sunday through Thursday, Friday off. Uh, Saturday is kind of a half day. So the way it works in Israel, it's um it's a little bit strange so there's information online about what's the working week like in israel and i can tell you a little bit more from personal experience so you'll find resources online saying israel has a uh six day working week sunday through friday and that's not really correct for most people working in let's say white collar or professional jobs for most people working in white collar professional jobs it's just a sunday to thursday uh work week whatever Wiki whatever wikipedia says about people working on friday and that's because, again, the Jewish Shabbat, uh, Israel being a country that uh, isn't governed by Jewish law for the most part, but which derives its laws from Judaism, um, that day of Shabbat, which starts again Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, uh, religious Jews are not allowed to do work. There's no way you could work in an office on such a day. So therefore, that day is off. Friday is off, which satisfies the needs of the Muslim population. And uh, that's the, so that's actually how the weekend oddly enough works. Friday being off, Saturday being Shabbat, and then Sunday being back on. Now, it does mean that you, if you are Shabbat observant, Shomer Shabbat, like I am for the most part, right? And I work in a, a kind of typical uh, work week, uh, more or less. That means that your my weekend starts on a Thursday. So Thursday night is like the equivalent of probably Saturday night in uh, for most Monday to Friday Western workers. So if you want to put it crudely for teenage for teenagers looking to get drunk on the weekend, their best bet is Thursday night. Um, for religiously observant people, um, Israel really shuts down uh, about halfway through Friday, and that's actually, if you think about it, if you are Shabbat observant, the only part of the weekend or the biggest chunk of the weekend that you can actually use it to go out to restaurants go to bars because in a city like jerusalem for the most part most institutions like that are completely shut down from friday through that friday through saturday and then what people will do is actually go out on most say shabbat so visitors to israel are often confused they see these bars you know in tel aviv and jerusalem full of people on a saturday night after shabbat and people are like don't they have work in the morning isn't isn't it like israel a sunday to thursday work week and the answer is uh, probably most people do have work in the morning, but there's kind of a push and take. Um, and that's kind of a reflection of it that, you know, in a in a country where you have these um, unusual sort of um, long working hours during the day, people are a little bit lax, I would say, about uh, Sunday work. A lot of people, you know, it depends really on the company culture, but uh, the places I've worked, there's kind of been an environment where you can come a little bit early, late on Sunday, leave a little bit early. Um, for the Israeli high-tech sector, the tech sector that's working with the rest of the world, I wouldn't say Sunday's a wasted day, but it's a far less busy day because your clients, your customers, are on a Monday to Friday work week, so they're not uh, there for contact. So uh, Sunday's kind of a sloppy-ish day in a lot of Israeli tech companies. Now, um, I mentioned that um, Monday to the this whole idea of the work week. So 
there are definitely people who work a six day week in the fields of like essential services and they'll begin their work week on a Saturday night and end it on Friday afternoon. That would be, let's say, maybe bus drivers, we could say municipal workers. But for most office workers, your work week begins on a Sunday. Your work week ends on a Thursday and that's it. There are a few cases I've heard of people working for um like let's say a, a, a salesperson working at a tech company in, in israel and all their clients are um on monday to friday sorry are in the west and they're also shabbat observant so how would that person uh work typically it's sunday to thursday like anyone else in the israeli economy but i've heard of some companies who've begun to have give people monday to friday working weeks so that they have sunday off they start on monday and because in my hypothetical example here, they're Shabbat observant. They'll stop working kind of Friday afternoon. And some people like this because on Sunday, uh, you don't really have, if you are Jewish and Shabbat observant, you've got that little kind of few hours on Friday to actually sort of have a normal weekend with stuff open and then a few more residual hours on Saturday night. So people, a lot of people actually who can do this actually appreciate it because it gives them an entire day, a weekend on Sunday when stuff is open, when public transport's running, etc. I know a lot of countries are embracing a four-day work week currently. Israel did consider at some point um, adding the equivalent of bank holidays for those who grew up in, uh, for me in Ireland, I know in the UK they have them too and probably other countries there's these things called bank holidays that gives you a three-day weekend a few times a year. There was a, a push to introduce those in Israel. And unfortunately, and I really resent this, to be honest, the Israeli um, uh, trade union, Haistadrut, which is a major, major political force in the country, stymied that legislation to the best of my understanding and never advanced. Um, it's been a few years since I worked as a full-time employee in an Israeli office, but it's definitely given that you start on, I, I, I don't want to end this video on a whinge, but I just would say uh, I support the move towards less working hours because in Israel in particular, you've got one of the longest working weeks, uh, one of the longest working per capita working times that are out there. Um, it's, uh, you know, working till six, coming in at 8.30 in the morning for some people. Uh, the national vacation day minimum starts at 12. So they've kind of modeled themselves after the US in that respect. And uh, public holidays, for the most part, everyone except for Yom Ma'ut, Israel's Independence Day, is a Jewish holiday. So if you are Jewish and religiously observant, every single national holiday on the calendar is actually a time where religiously you can't drive, you can't use electricity, etc. So there's been a push um, for uh, bank holidays so the people who, who do choose to keep Jewish religious law, who are religiously observant, can have some days off that they can actually go and travel or, you know, use their phones or just, you know, have a little bit more flexibility than the traditional restrictions on Shabbat and the Hagim. Um, I think that's about enough for working uh, hours in Israel. In summary, yes, it's true. Israelis do work from Sunday to Thursday. It's a reflection of the fact that Israel is in the Middle East. It's also a reflection of the fact that Israel is a Jewish majority country, but also has a strong Muslim minority. So it kind of works for both face groups. Um, there are some people who do work six days a week, as the internet says, but for the most part, for your average office worker, I would say, uh, working in a professional or knowledge-based job, they're going to be working only Sunday through Thursday, and their weekend is therefore going to consist of Friday, Saturday, which for religious Jews is a day of rest, and a little chunk of time after the Shabbat, which is called Motzei Shabbat, and they might go out on Motzei Shabbat, even though they work in the morning, and then the whole week starts again. And that's pretty much what it's like to uh, work in Israel. Hope this video was informative, interesting. Uh, if you're curious about what it's like to live in Israel and the culture and the working culture we have here. And if you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.